What if I told you that one man solved a mathematical problem that the world thought was impossible, but died in poverty at just 26, his genius almost forgotten? This is the tragic yet awe-inspiring story of Niels Henrik Abel. The early 19th century was a time when mathematics was rapidly evolving. Newton had given the world calculus. Euler had dazzled with formulas that seemed like magic. But one puzzle haunted mathematicians for centuries. Could you solve the general quintic equation, an equation of the fifth degree, using a simple formula, just like we solve quadratics? For 350 years, the brightest minds struggled. They tried, failed, and tried again. Some believed the answer was just waiting to be discovered. Others began to whisper, maybe it's impossible. And then came Niels Henrik Abel, a young Norwegian genius, unknown, poor, but determined to solve the unsolvable. Abel was born in 1802 in Norway, into a family struggling with financial hardship. His father, once a clergyman, had lost both money and reputation. But young Niels showed an extraordinary gift for numbers. By his teenage years, he was already solving problems his teachers couldn't comprehend. One teacher smuggled him advanced books in mathematics. Abel devoured them like a starving man finding food. But books weren't enough. He wanted to create, to discover. Yet, poverty weighed heavily. Abel often couldn't afford paper. He scribbled equations on scraps, margins, even the backs of letters. His talent was unmatched, but would the world notice? By age 19, Abel attacked the legendary quintic problem. Imagine, every great mathematician for centuries had failed. But Abel, with almost nothing but determination, worked tirelessly. And in 1824, at just 22 years old, he did the unthinkable. He proved the general quintic equation cannot be solved with a simple algebraic formula. It wasn't just a solution. It was a revelation. Abel had shifted mathematics forever, opening the door to modern algebra and group theory. But here's the tragedy, nobody cared. Abel's work was revolutionary, but he lived in obscurity. He sent his proof to the famous French mathematician Augustine Louis Cauchy. But Cauchy, overwhelmed with his own work, misplaced it, and Abel's discovery went unread. He traveled to Paris, carrying his masterpiece. But instead of fame, he found rejection. Doors closed. Journals ignored him. He was penniless, wandering the streets of Europe, knocking on the gates of recognition, and being turned away. He pushed on, producing brilliant papers, like his work on elliptic functions, which would later inspire giants like Jacobi and Riemann. But still, no university wanted him. He applied for positions, only to be rejected again and again. In a heartbreaking letter to a friend, Abel wrote, It seems to be my fate to have to renounce everything I most wish for in this world. In 1829, Abel returned to Norway, sick, weak, but still dreaming. His tuberculosis worsened. On April 6, 1829, at only 26 years old, Niels Henrik Abel died in poverty, leaving behind his fiance and his unfinished dreams. Here's the cruelest twist. Two days after his death, a letter arrived offering him a professorship at the University of Berlin. The recognition he had fought for his entire life came too late. Though Abel died in obscurity, his ideas refused to die with him. Mathematicians who finally read his work were stunned. They realized they had lost one of the greatest minds of all time. Today, Abel's name lives on in the abelian functions, abelian groups, and perhaps most famously, the Abel Prize, one of the highest honors in mathematics, often called the Nobel Prize of Math. The irony? The Abel Prize gives millions of dollars to living mathematicians, but the man it's named after died with almost nothing. Niels Henrik Abel's life is a story of brilliance, tragedy, and a bittersweet legacy. He solved the impossible, yet never lived to see his own greatness acknowledged. So, the next time you hear about the Abel Prize, remember the young genius who once scribbled on scraps of paper and changed mathematics forever. And if you want to uncover more hidden stories of forgotten geniuses, rebels, and pioneers erased by history, hit that like button, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, because there are countless more stories waiting to be told.